they say, when you lift one hand to God, he drops two to pick you up. You don't have to do it all yourself. When the disciple is ready, the Guru will come. The first words I addressed to Paramahansa Yogananda were, I want to be your disciple. I had to, I had to. Naya Swami Kriyananda's self-definition was simple. I want to be a good disciple. Swami Kriyananda met his Guru Paramahansa Yogananda in 1948 and spread his worldwide message of self-realization for 65 years. He once said, I can no longer tell where Swami Kriyananda ends and my Guru begins. My Guru often would speak about the importance of attunement. The more I tuned in to my Guru's consciousness, the more I realized that that's what I was, that my nature is Satchitananda. The most important thing that the Guru has to give you is his consciousness, his freedom. Kriyananda saw the same profound attunement in Nayaswami Jyotish, his spiritual successor. Nayaswami Jyotish made his life-changing connection with Kriyanandaji almost 50 years ago. I first met Swami in early 1967. My connection with Swami really predated my coming to Ananda, predated Ananda. One afternoon we went up to Swami Kriyananda's apartment and rapped on his door. And he invited us in and said, I'm working on a project, would you like to help? <laughs> From that time on, I found what I was really looking for, which was the deepest, most expansive view of what I really was. He not only captured my mind, but much more importantly, he captured my heart. Nayaswamis Jyotish and Devi are the worldwide directors of Ananda. Swamiji named Jyotish his successor, and for many years before his passing, put the two of them in charge of Ananda in every practical way. It's largely because of the careful training that Swamiji gave to them that has allowed Ananda to continue as expansively and with so much inspiration. Everything that Swami exemplified has been passed on. Everyone in the world is driven by the same basic motivation, the desire to be happy and to avoid pain. If there's any area of your life where you are unhappy, find someone else to help. And in that service of others, you forget any problems that you have. The whole of life is raising our consciousness and attuning it to God. The energy needed to find God is the same as the energy that's needed to be successful in business. Let's work on trying to feel ourselves more and more as beings of energy. Happiness, concentration, energy, health, this is what's being brought through the practice of Kriya Yoga. And when we learn how to control and how to direct life force, then we have the key to awakening. Nayaswami Jyotish, along with his wife Nayaswami Devi, have been instrumental in helping expand the work of Yoganandaji and Kriyanandaji throughout the world. <laughs>